Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. We've had a few questions recently about some image effects, so I thought I'd do three simple ones for you right here. We've got a black and white image on the left here. When I hover over, it's going to come in as color. When I take it back off, it's going to go black and white again. In the middle, I've got a picture of some sparklers. When I hover over it, it's going to fade into a picture of some people in the background there. When I let go, it's going to go back. Simple image swap. And this third one here is a kind of mock morph effect. It's going to take place over five or six seconds. And this image is going to sort of morph into something else. And then when I take it off, it's going to make its way back. And these are all really easy to do. There's no coding involved today. And I'll show you exactly how to do it. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. Once enabled, let's go down to where we want to work. In my case, right here, I've got a section, the blue tab. Inside the section, I've got a row, the green tab, and three little image modules. I'm going to get rid of this row and we'll start from scratch. Then hit the little green plus to add a new row. I'm going to throw three columns in, as that's how many effects I've got today. I'm going to go down. I'm going to use a simple image module for each of these. There it is. Okay, right away in the content, it's going to ask you to select the image. And I think I'll use the same one as I did before, which was this one. It's got quite a bit of color to it. Down below, you've got a link. You can choose to open it in a light box if you want to. Or if you don't want to open it in a light box, for anybody that doesn't know, a light box is when it pops out and the back darkens down. So you can focus on the image. Or you can link them to anywhere else you want to by putting a URL in there. Always best practice, if you're linking to your own site, leave it in the same window. If you're linking off-site, open it in a new tab. Okay, that's pretty much all I want to do to that. Now let's make the fun part happen. I want to turn this black and white, and then when they hover over it, I'm going to bring that color back. So I'm going to go over to my design. I'm going to roll down a bit. I'm going to go down to filters. And we've got several filters here. The one that I want is saturation. Now common to all Divi modules, if you hover over the dark writing within a module, some little icons are going to appear. Go to the thing that you want to affect. In my case, saturation here. Hover over it. If there's a little arrow there, we can create a hover effect. Desktop is when your mouse is not on it. Hover, obviously, is when your mouse is on it. So clicking on the desktop, I want it to be black and white. So I'm going to take all the saturation out which is basically all the color away. And we've got a black and white image there. Then when they put their mouse over it, I want all that color to come back. So I'm going to take it back to 100%, or you can go mad and even put more in if you want to, but I think they've done that with this image anyway, so <laughs> I think 100 is going to do it. So let's, let's just increment down a little. That's back how the image was. Now, by default, the time that Divi takes to go from desktop to hover is 300 milliseconds, which is just under a third of a second, which is pretty quick. I like to slow mine down just for a bit of drama. If you want to, you can go over to the Advanced tab, and this will always be under the Advanced tab, down to Transitions. Here's a Transition Duration. There's the default 300 mils. You can type in a value, or you can slide the slider up. I'm going to give mine about three quarters of a second, 750 milliseconds. You can slide it. You can type in a value. You can increment up with the little arrows at the side there if you want to. Don't want any delay. Want it to happen as soon as they put their mouse on it. And the transition speed curve I like for these hover effects is easing out. Now there's several different ones here. They're all slightly different. Some will work better than others in certain situations. But for my hover effects, the easy in out is my go-to. Great. Well, I'm happy with that first one. So let's say the page changes. Check it's going to work on the front end. We'll exit the Visual Builder. There's our black and white image. And there it is taking 750 millisecond 
to roll it. Now you may notice we've got some little writing here when I roll over it. That's actually the name of the image. I got this from the great pexels.com, which is a great stock photo site for anybody that needs stock images. Uh, if you don't want to see that there, I'll show you how to do that when we build this next one. Okay, well, let's enable the Visual Builder again. Okay, first things first, if we want to get rid of this little name, go into the module, the dark tab, go over to the advanced, go down to attributes, and that's the image text title right there. You can simply delete it. Alt text is usually for describing the images, such as a black and white image of a mountain or something like that. A lot of people use it for SEO keywords nowadays. That's entirely up to you. Great, so we've got rid of that. Let's go on to our little next one. And again, I'm gonna select the Divi image module. We'll select an image. And again, I think I'll use the same one as I used before. Which is a little sparkler. Again, if you want a link or light box, let's turn the light box on for fun. You can put it in there. Design wise, well, what do we want it to do? This one, we want to fade out and have another image appear when it fades out. So this will fade out into the other image. Now, where are we going to put the other image? Well, let's do that. So let's save what we've got here. We're actually going to go into the row this time, the green tab. We're working on the middle column here. I'm going to go in there. And this is where I'm going to put my image because the actual size is dictated by the size of our photo here, and then we're going to fade it out into the other image. So let's grab an image. Again, I think I'll just use the same one as I did before. It's got a nice bit of color to it. So we're going to have the sparkler, and it's going to fade out into this one. And of course, you can do the reverse. You can have this one and fade it out into the sparkler if you want to. Well, let's save this. We'll save the main row settings. Let's go back into our image now and make the fade. Dark tab for the image. And again, I don't want this there, so I'm going to go over to the advanced attributes. Simply delete that. Okay, this time let's go to our design. And again, we're going to go down the filters. This time we're going to use one called opacity, which is this dotted one right here. And we'll do the same. We'll get the little arrow up. On desktop, I want to see that, fine. When they hover over it, I want it to fade out into that colored picture behind, that one. Now, if you want to do the reverse, obviously, desktop started off here. Hover, put it up the other way. I'm happy to have mine that way. Let's put it back on desktop. And again, I'm going to slow this down a bit by going to the advanced, down to transitions. I'll make this even longer i'm going to make it a second and again i'm going to use the ease in out speed curve great well i'm pretty sure this is going to work on the front end so i'm not going to save everything and check it out i'll do this third one now and check them all out at the end so again let's go into our third one here and this time we're going to kind of morph two images together or not really it's a mock morph really it's just playing with the filters so let's go in here, let's use another image module. And of course you can use a regular text module if you want to fade a text module over an image and we've done lots of those videos in the past. Again, let's choose an image. I think that's the one I used last time. You know where to put the link if you want to put one in there. Okay, again, I'm going to save this and we're going to set the image that we're going to kind of mock morph into so let's go back into our row green tab we're working on column number three now background find the image that we want okay use that one last time fantastic save that save the row settings we'll go back into this module once more Okay, what do we want to do with this one? Well, I imagine some of you are way ahead of me already. We're going to go over to the design, down to filters. 
This time I'm going to pretty much use all of these filters. So I'm going to go to hue and hit the little arrow. I'm going to leave it just like that on desktop. When they hover over it, I'm going to bring that up. So the hue changes dramatically. The color changes, as you can see. Saturation, I think I'll bring that up a little bit too. So again, I'm going to leave it where it is. And on hover, I'm going to take it up all the way. Let's make it even more vivid there. Brightness, well, I'm going to leave that. I think we're okay. Contrast, I'm going to take that a bit up on hover. So remember, we're looking at the hover state at the moment, not the desktop state, because I've got all of these open on hover. Invert, you can do that, and it'll switch the colors around as it's changing. So let's do that one too. I roll this up. See, it's inverting. CPU, I'm going to leave it alone. And of course, opacity. Yeah, I want it to fade out into the other one. But I also want it to blur as well. So before I put the opacity on there, I'm going to put the blur on. Remember, on the hover state, I'm going to blur it up. Now, there's one thing that if you blur it all the way up or quite the way up, you're going to see some spillage here. I don't want to see any of that spilling out of the actual image frame itself. So I'll show you how we can hide that in a moment. And maybe even a little too blurry. Let's just take that down a tad. That's kind of nice. OK, and the opacity. Last but not least, again, just hover up over, get the icons. When they hover over it, I don't want to see it at all. I just want to see that image underneath. Just like that. Great. So let's flip it back to desktop. We should have the other image. There it is, the normal version of it. Now, again, I'm going to go over to the advanced for this one, and I'm going to really slow it down. I'm going to go down to my transitions again. This one, I'm going to maybe take five seconds. Now, you can slide up. And if it doesn't go as far as you want, just type in the value that you want over here. 2000 milliseconds is two seconds. Let's, well, let's give it six. Let's go crazy. 6000. Transition delay is fine. Easy in, out is my to go to. Fantastic. Well, let's go down and save this. Save the page changes. And let's exit the visual builder. Then we can go down. There's our first one right there, black and white image. Hover over it. It's going to take about three quarters of a second to become colored. Second one there, sparklers when I hover over. It's going to take about a second to fade out into the other image behind. And the third one here is the same sort of principle where we're going mad and it's kind of like a mock morph effect. And then when you take your mouse off of it, it's going to morph back. And what I didn't show you there was how to get rid of this here. It's really easy to do. I'll have to enable the Visual Builder. And we'll go down. We'll go down to the row. The green tab here. I'm going to go over to my column here, the third one, this one over here. I'm going to go to the Advanced. And I'm going to go down to Visibility. Here you'll find Horizontal and Vertical Overflow. We can just select hidden with both of these and they'll hide anything that tries to fall out of the column there, such as our blur. So let's save that. We'll save the main row changes again. Save the page. Let's check it out now. And if I go straight over that one, as it's morphing there, there's nothing spelling out. And it sort of slow fades back, slow fades in. But it does look a bit like an image morph type effect. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. And I hope those have answered a few of those questions. I thought it'd be easier to do three in one here. There's the image fade simple. And then, of course, we can put a link in there. This one, I think I've got a light box on it. There we go. And if you want the other one to pop out in the light box, just swap which picture you've got on the front actually in the image module. This one, I don't think I put a link on at all. And don't forget, you can remove that by going to the attributes under the advanced tab, as we did with these two.
So there you go, guys. Three little simple image hover effects with the Divi theme. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.